Before I discovered dopamine detox, I overindulged on easy dopamine. I would watch anime, bath, eat junk food, play video games, all on the same day. And the worst part about it was the fact that my family and friends could tell. They tried to get me out of this loop, but I did not listen. To get out of this loophole, it requires effort and time. It doesn't require two weeks. At the end of this video, I will teach you how to do a dopamine detox and take away bad habits. But before we get into that, we first have to understand it. For most people, the biggest bad habit that is going to take a long time and it's gonna require a lot of your willpower to get rid of is lust. Depending on the person that you are, if you are just like me, you didn't really receive that much female attention outside of your mom when you were young. Throughout all of middle school and high school, I only had one girlfriend. From this lack of feminine energy, we would wanna seek the replacement and well, you know where that leads. So whenever you do a dopamine detox, to be honest, even if you did receive feminine energy in your early ages, when you were young, it's still gonna be a really hard factor because every man desires it. I feel like for every guy, it is really hard to master masculine energy. It's really hard to master life energy. I feel like the key, like to ma like straight up, to be honest, the key to mastering your lust is to build discipline. There's not gonna be like a magic button. There's not gonna be like, it's not as easy as just like uninstalling Chrome or getting like an extension. It's not that easy. You're still gonna have those desires. It's straight up gonna come out out of your own willpower. In order to build that, you have to do hard tasks, especially in the morning. Hard tasks that would include taking cold showers, exercising, doing tough mental activities. Those are the type of stuff that's gonna build your discipline and away from lust. And same thing the other way around. If you go and try to pursue easy dopamine, then the more likely lust is gonna come back. This was most apparent when I tried doing a dopamine detox. Whenever I ate out, whenever my mom made donuts, whenever I did these things and I got home to my room, my brain would like, they it would tell me to go and pull up my computer and start doing the deed <laughs> so pretty much build discipline and avoid bad habits that's how you will conquer no fat. but the thing is it becomes really challenging doing hard things every day i for one haven't been doing cold showers every day it's not required for a dopamine detox but it does help as i stated so don't expect to be perfect right away that's something that i'll get into later let's talk about the benefits of dopamine detox whenever you do an easy task whenever you indulge in instant dopamine pretty much your dopamine levels are gonna go high but then they're gonna go below baseline they're gonna be below your standard dopamine levels meaning <laughs> that you're gonna be more depressed like the more you consume easy dopamines the more depressed you're gonna be whenever you're away from them the thing is same thing with trying to do hard dopamines like yeah you're gonna lose a little bit of dopamine but then later your dopamine is gonna be higher meaning that it's gonna be above baseline meaning that you're gonna be much more happy much more in a better mood and I for one can confirm this because to be honest whenever I for example whenever I exercise and then afterwards I'm just like walking around my campus going to like my classes I feel more confident I don't know why but I guess if I had to guess it would be because like I would feel like an alpha male I'll, I'll just feel like tough same thing with a cold shower like if I go into a class after taking a cold shower I'm gonna feel like I'm the shit because like I, like I bet you if you go to school and you look around in your class you're probably not gonna see that many people who would like wake up at 5 or 6 a.m. in the morning in order to take a cold shower. Your ego is gonna go through the roof. But you can't like turn your brain on and be like, I wanna take a cold shower. You can't just, it doesn't work like that. You can't do that right away. You're gonna need some sort of like motivation at first. And that's, yeah, I think that's how it should be. First, you motivate yourself to do hard tasks. You do that hard task and through doing it, it builds discipline. That's how it should be. But you could also say that motivation is like, you can't always rely on it because it comes and goes. You can never tell when it's gonna come back, when you're gonna need it. But surprisingly enough, I think there is a way to increase your motivation. Can you guess how? By doing hard tasks. Okay, cause here's, here's how I see it. If you do a hard task, afterwards you're gonna be like, that wasn't that bad. Like, I'm pretty sure if you've done, like if you went out for a run, or like whenever you took a cold shower, this kind of mentality kind of hits you. And like, if you have that mentality to like, oh, I could do that again probably. The next time that you do do it, then you're more likely to do it. So yeah, all of this takes like a lot of time. So like, don't expect it to be motivated right away and try to do like a crazy ass task, like run like a marathon or something. So now let's talk about how to do a proper detox. As I said, you have to have some sort of hard task. This hard task should build up to your greater purpose. Like, the why you want to provide to the world and this purpose this hard task that you want to do is pretty much what's going to keep you occupied 
for most of your day and it should be a work that you enjoy i would say maximum you should spend four hours on it and then after those four hours are up you can like focus on other things like improving your mental health learning and physical activities that's how you should do your detox and then you can use what i said before of doing hard tasks as like a tool in order to help you focus on like the work that you want to do on like your purpose work you know and there's more tools out there definitely there's more tools that will help you in your focus when you sit down and do the work one of the tools that i do all the time is fasting it would be most beneficial to fast in the morning because again we will want to get the hardest task done at the beginning of the day that way we won't have to worry about it later and focus on other things so the reason why i believe fasting would help is because whenever you eat food your body is going to take energy digesting that food it's the reason why you feel sleepy after you had a big meal so if you had no calories then naturally your body would feel more energized and more focused I really highly suggest that if you're a college student, you should have your classes in the morning. That way, you can fast for the whole morning, eat one meal, and like you can prepare that that meal the day before. Eat one meal, and then once your classes are all done, you go home and you eat there. That will save you money. That will save you money and improve focus. Another tool that massively helps on your dopamine detox is having a timetable and a habit track. Now these help because you know you do what you have to do. You don't do what you feel like doing, and if you you already know what you're gonna do then you're good you're good for a whole day you just have to follow it which like if you made it then it should be simple enough for you to follow this is mine right here you probably can't see it because it's backwards but right here it's probably yeah like 5 5 a.m 6 a.m yeah just show you the basic stuff just make a regular schedule um another thing highly suggested you don't have to do it but it helps me but on the back i also wrote like my to-do list that i have to do for the whole day it helps me keep track of what i want to get done for that day and then when it comes to the habit tracker i actually have it uh like i guess i could show you like i have it right up against my wall and i have another one back there next to my calendar the reason why I have two is because I ran out of room and yeah and I also ran out of room like I would have to take the poster down but yeah the reason why that helps is because there's certain there are certain small tasks that you could do in order to improve your focus focus mental health and physical activity that's what habits improve on this is not a habit video but i will give you the three main habits that you should incorporate number one meditation number two journaling number three physical activities those are simple enough you don't have to go too overboard um for me i have like 10 things that i need to do the reason why i do this is because i feel like i have the discipline to do all of them every single day and for the most part i have been doing them obviously you're if you're a beginner you're not gonna be up to the point where you can do like 10 tasks in a single day just try to do what you can manage and like all of this all that i'm doing like i wouldn't be able to do it without willpower and i'm not expecting to do all of them every single day i'm just trying to be better than I, what i did before and i feel like that's should that's how you should go about it you should set your goals based on compounding effects that is like the best way to do a dopamine detox it doesn't take two weeks it takes years in order to be at a full 100 percent dopamine detox that like you see popular youtubers do it takes years in order to do that every single day you shouldn't expect yourself to be up to that level right away. You should set small goals. Small goals that you could do every month. For example, for me, this month, it's as of that moment, it's January 28th. This month, I want to get up to 500 subscribers. Next month, I want to do 700. The month after that, 800. Just, you know, small goals. The like small improving goals every month. Just like try to improve just a little bit the next month. It will compound. It really will. It's really how I beat NoFap. And it's really how I built most of my discipline. And it's really what made me realize that what i'm trying to do is achievable like if you said to do goals like that and like you reflect on yourself you reflect on the type of person that you are you could see that like doing those goals are achievable just like improving a little bit every month just like a little tiny bit that could stack in the long run so keep that in mind and i hope you take that with you throughout days after because i think it's really helpful so with that thank you for watching this video if you like make sure to leave a like subscribe if you're new or if you like my channel and yeah always remember to live your life like there's no tomorrow, tomorrow.